Hi, Hi fellow birdies, and welcome back to another edition of Some Birds Eating Show. In today's video, we're going to be eating some delicious Indian food with chicken tikka masala, some Punjabi samosas, rice, um, dip, and some gobi paratha. And we're going to be playing a game of what did you rather? So we got some good questions and good food, so let's go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. So the first question is, would you rather be covered in fur or scales? Fur for me. I'd hmm. be able to stay warm. Me too. Plus, I'm sure I'd look... Actually, I don't know why I look like I was covered in fur. I'm just imagining it now. Imagine like some like pale yellow. Like, like scales are good for armor, don't get me wrong, but I would rather be covered in fur myself too. Mm -hmm. Because, like you said, it keep you warm. And, yeah, like, the rest is not really, you know... Don't have to explain it. I think most people would probably choose for it. Would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line again? Mm -hmm. Never have to stand in line again. Me too, because honestly, I don't mind stopping at traffic lights. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I hate more like waiting in line and just like not... You know, not not moving very fast. Indeed. Well, in my part, it's because we're, we are like, traffic isn't so bad, you know. So yeah. in other places, it might be better to have, you know, yeah. no like green lights everywhere. Yeah, like say in a big city or even like little towns that are developing more and adding buildings and traffic lights and stuff like that. So, yeah. So next question. Would you rather spend the rest of your life with a sailboat as your home or an RV as your home? Hmm. For me, I personally choose like an RV mm -hmm. because I love driving, I love traveling places. Hmm, that's good. But I couldn't see myself staying out in the ocean for too long because I'd probably get too sick. <laughs> for me, I probably would choose the RV as well simply because I have no idea how to like handle a boat. No. Like, of course, I don't know if I would get seasick because I've admit you guys, I've never been out in like a cruise ship or anything before. I've seen the ocean, but I've never been out in it. So. Hmm. So next question. Hmm? Would you rather give up all drinks except for water or give up anything that was cooked in an oven? All drinks except for water. Me too, like, I don't mind eating things that are not cooked in an oven, but mm -hmm. we cannot live without water. And we all can't live without water. Like, we gotta have water, but... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Would you rather be able to dodge anything, no matter how fast it's moving, mm -hmm. or be able to ask any three questions and have them answered correctly? Any three questions. Me too, because, simply put, I know neither one of us are probably going to dodge things very fast anyway. And I'm usually a person who asks a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. Plus, if, you know, you make it, how should I put this? loose enough rules, imagine I could ask, like, what are the steps I can take to, like, you know, save the world or whatever? Well, you have those three questions answered correctly no matter what. Mm -hmm. You'd have to. So, let's see. Would you rather be forced to dance to every time you heard music or be forced to sing along to any song you heard? You guys are going to know me in this one. I love singing. I'm a horrible dancer. Horrible. Like, I won't even start to explain about that. Mm -hmm. But I love singing, and uh, I honestly wouldn't mind singing every song that I heard. I think I'd do the singing as well. <laughs> like, I'm worse at dancing, I think. No. Um, I think you're good. Okay, I'm average at best. <laughs> no, sweetie, I think you're a good dancer. You're better than I am. Well, maybe, but... 
I'm very I'm not good. good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Would you rather have all your clothes fit perfectly mm -hmm. or have the most comfortable pillow, blankets, and sheets in existence? For well, me, I... yeah, me too. Like, I don't mind if my outfit doesn't exactly fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to sleep comfortably in bed. So, I think I would definitely have to vote sheets all the way. Yeah, I just can't see, like, clothes fitting being, like, a super high power. I mean, plus, you know, they don't fit perfectly. They fit okay, probably. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, they always get, like, the perfect night's sleep would be awesome. That would be good. You would be really good. Would you rather move to a new city or town every week or never be able to leave the city or town you were born in? For me, I think I'd like to just stay where I'm at. Like, don't get me wrong, I like traveling and stuff like that, but I don't want to move every single week. That's a bit too often. And plus, you know, I feel at home, like, where I come from. So, I would probably just like to stay here or, you know, back where I was born. Just imagine what it would be like, though, for, like, traveling. Mm-hmm. Mm. If I had to choose, probably a city where I'm born, but it's a tough one, you know. During the winter time, where you're from, you're probably pretty cold now. Yeah, but I'm used to that. You got tough skin. Mm-hmm. You got tough skin. So next question, would you rather give up using a phone or tablet forever or give up having to use any salt and food? Any super. salt? Salt, flat out salt. Like, everything would probably definitely taste bland though, but, mm -hmm. you know, there's so much use out of phones and tablets and stuff. Like, I'd rather just do without salt. Honestly, some foods have too much salt. Mm -hmm. Let's see that's a tough one for me, actually. Because <laughs> I know how much you get on your phone. Actually, it's more like, which one's easier to get around? Like, for example, I could go without a phone or a tablet if I had, like, a laptop, for example. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But it's a lot harder to get around without salt. You know, I'd probably choose the, you know, I'd rather, you know, keep my salt. Thank you. So, no phone, tablet for me. Good choice. Let's see. Would you rather your only mode of transportation be a donkey or a giraffe? Um, that's a hard one for me. I love both of those animals. But honestly, I like, I could see myself like a, riding a donkey. Maybe. Like, the advantage of a giraffe is it's taller. You could mm -hmm. probably see more from the advantage point. But... I don't know, there is something about a donkey that's kind of like cuter to me. I don't, or I'm, I'm just like riding it more. It's just similar like a horse, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go donkey too. Me and Clara don't think, I haven't really heard of anyone like domesticating drafts for like riding. I never heard of that myself either. Like, I, I have seen people ride elephants and stuff like that. Um,. Of course, you got llamas and all that. Mm -hmm. You got donkeys. People ride donkeys. Camels. But I've never seen one ride a giraffe. Like, can't be if I'm wrong, but I never have. Mm -hmm. So. Would you be compelled to high-five everyone you meet or be compelled to give wedgies to anyone in a green shirt? <laughs> Where do they come up with this stuff? All right. For me, I would say I'd rather high five everyone. Me too. Like wedgies are not nice. Mm -hmm. So I like giving people high fives. Wow. <laughs> Indeed. Would you rather have skin that changes color based on your emotions, or tattoos appear all over your body depicting what you did yesterday? Honestly, for me, I kind of like colors based on my emotions because 
there's like a lot of moments during the day it's like I could be like a bit sad or a bit happy or maybe like a little bit angry mm -hmm. but but um you know I don't know if I want to like know want to have like everyone know what I did during the day all over my body it's just kind of like creepy yeah I'm gonna pick the emotions <laughs> one I tend to stay pretty calm mm, yeah <laughs> would you rather be a perpetual water balloon war going on in your city or a perpetual food fight? Water balloon. I like water balloons. Me, I have to kind of choose food. <laughs> They're like, you get some food over, you get messy. That's fun. But the first one, I could just wear a swimsuit all day and then I'd be fine. Like but then it's like switch to water ball fights after the food fight and it'll clean on the food I. You know, right? <laughs> no. Oh, that's not good. Would you rather have to fart loudly every time you have a serious conversation or have to burp after every kiss? <laughs> burp. <laughs> Me? I mean... I would rather fart. <laughs> Make note. Stay up when. Because I can't have some serious conversations. I'd rather fart. Hey. That's fun. No comment. <laughs> um, would you rather become twice as strong when both of your fingers are stuck in your ears or crawl twice as fast as you can run? Me? I want to be strong. So I'd rather my fingers in my ears. Crawl twice as fast as I can run. What's the point of being strong if you got your fingers in your ears? That's true, honestly. Like, how do you actually do anything with that? We are like headbutt you things? Couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't. You'd have to, like, try to lift things with your elbows when you have your fingers stuck in your like, Ugh, I can't lift it up. Blah, blah, blah. Whereas if I can crawl it twice as fast as <laughs> I can run, this literally just doubled my speed. I know, right? <laughs> I guess I'll say crawl. Because that makes more sense. Because I can't lift things with my elbows or my shoulders or anything like that. It's just, it's too hard. Or my head. Like, I'd have to, like, lift my head to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you rather have everything you draw become real, but be permanently terrible at drawing, or be able to fly, but only as fast as you can walk? Um, hmm. I like flying, but that would be slow. So if I had to like fly that slow, I'd rather not fly. So I guess I'd be like drumming. Hmm. Well, on the one hand, the first one, I already suck at drawing. Well, I'm not any better than you are, dude. But wait, I can't, it just says as it comes to life. It doesn't say I can control. I'm going to pick B. I'm going to go with the flying. Because for uh, I just imagine I draw a bunch of squiggles. And then it turns out I've created, like, Cthulhu. Or just draw a house to live in. A house that comes to life and tries to kill you. I'd rather not that often. <laughs> that would be... Exactly. It just says <laughs> it comes to life. You know. What are you saying? Not everything that comes to life has to kill you. True. Something that comes like to be a friend. Or it could help you out. Like say, if I drew um, an animal or something. Maybe a pet animal. Or whatever like that. Or maybe we could draw a shovel. And it'll help you around the house. Or a broom, whatever. Like, you get what I mean, right? Potentially. Yeah. You have to be very careful, though. Exactly. So I'll do one more. Hmm? Let's see. Would you rather have 30 butterflies instantly appear from nowhere... Every time you sneeze, or one very angry squirrel appear from nowhere every time you cough? Butterflies. Yeah, like, what if someone's, you cough and there's like an angry squirrel just staring you down? You know, that's gonna be the last acorn you steal from me. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, because she's like, you're taking all my acorn, you're taking I didn't all do my it. nuts. I'm innocent. I'm innocent, I say. Like you're taking all the acorns, you're taking all my nuts. This will be the last one you do. I'm gonna give you a stare down. 
I also imagine it like trying to bite you. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, like, I'd rather have the butterflies. Yep, yep. I guess I'd have to sneeze all the time though. At you. And just imagine, like, give me five minutes, and then th and then like, this massive <laughs> swarm of butterflies comes out of the house. <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today's Would You Rather Challenge. We will definitely be doing more of these in the future, and I hope you enjoyed it. Also, feel free to click the red button down below to subscribe and... Hit the bell for your notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Yep, right. yep. This is Charles. And Crystal signing out. Bye, Bye birdies! birdies.